Hey everybody, I'm Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson. I'm here today with Scott Henson from the Xbox engineering team to talk about some new features coming to Xbox One. Scott, great to have you. It's great to be here, Larry. Now the creator's update is scheduled to release for everyone in the spring, and today the first wave of Xbox preview members will get a sneak peek. In the weeks ahead, more and more Xbox Insider program members will receive the new features. Let's take a look at what's new. Scott, what is the theme of today's Xbox Insider release? Now, the Creators Update in general is really about performance, it's about people, it's about competition, and it's about streaming, mm -hmm. right? So right now, people are gonna be able to play with a lot of those features as a part of the Insider program. So for example, one of the things that we've done is we've redesigned the guide to get to you the most common tasks that you perform every single day. One button press and all those common tasks are always available to you. We've also streamlined home so that the things that you're uh, playing uh, contextually related to that show up around that game. Um, and uh, all of our multitasking system is now redesigned around the guide itself. Scott, there's some big changes here. So what's gonna happen now when I hit the Xbox Guide button on my controller? So no matter what you're doing, whether you're playing a game or watching Netflix or what have you, you'll hit that button and you'll have a whole world of instantly accessible features. You'll be able to go to home, you'll be able to get to my games and apps, you'll be able to get to the store. Of course, you'll be able to get back to the game or the thing that you were running. Um, your recently run activities will be instantly accessible to you and at the bottom will be the pins. Now, if you're playing background music, right there on that homepage, you'll be able to pause, fast forward and change the volume on that as well. In addition to that multitasking feature, we've got instant access to the achievement tracker, mm -hmm. we've got instant access to game DVR, and of course, what everyone's excited about is very quick access to be able to become a broadcaster as well. Now, Scott, one feature I'm really excited about is you did some work around the game DVR. So now with uh, one button, I now have access to I want to record the last 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, and so forth. It's all right there on the guide. That's right, and of course, you can also start a recording or take a screenshot as well. Scott, tell us about the work the team has done around broadcasting and streaming. We've actually done quite a bit to make that super simple, both on the console as well as on Windows 10 PCs. Um, on the console, we're using that guide again as the multitasking uh, center where you'll be able to instantly get into being broadcast by selecting the broadcast icon. Now this isn't available immediately, but will be available in the weeks to come. Now, of course, lots of people continue to uh, stream on Twitch. Mm -hmm. uh, that will continue to work. That'll continue to be a great experience on the console and we're excited about that as well. The team has also done some work around Cortana. Tell us about that. Well, we've gotten lots of feedback on Cortana, as you would expect. Um, of course, we're continuing to improve the performance and overall reliability like everything, but we've also added some pretty cool new features as well, which people will be able to play with in preview. For example, you'll be able to set and receive reminders. So I could set a reminder that says, remind me to play Larry and Overwatch at eight o'clock tonight. Mm -hmm. And wherever Cortana is, I'll get that reminder. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. That sounds great. Now also, your team has done some work down there in settings and applying updates. Explain that to us. Yeah, so the first thing that we wanna do for folks is make it really clear when you're getting an update, where are you exactly in the set of sequences? So mm -hmm. you're gonna see a new user interface um, for that. Now that'll happen the second time that you get an update. Because, sure. of course, you know, the first time is when you're getting well, the we update. Have to, we have to update right. the update. Right, that's exactly <laughs> right. So the second thing that we're gonna do to make updates easier is we're gonna make it a lot more obvious um, for people to get into a mode where they can update automatically. Scott, there's also been work around accessibility and making Xbox more approachable for everyone. That's right. Um, not only are we making a continued improvements with the narrator and magnifier um, that people are gonna find super useful, uh, we've also added a brand new feature that I'm very excited about called Copilot. Mm -hmm. Now, Copilot allows you to take two controllers and make them one logical controller. Okay. So imagine that someone needs to control uh, their gameplay with a hand or maybe their chin or mm -hmm. foot, um, or they need a little bit of extra help from someone else. Um, and that feature actually works not just for people that have maybe disabilities, but also for people that might just need help getting through their games. So and pretty cool. And what's great is that games don't have to do anything. We handle that on the system level. That's exactly right. We make that a completely seamless thing for all games. Thanks, Scott. Really exciting stuff. The first batch of Creators Update features is arriving today for select Xbox Insider program members. If you're an Xbox Insider and don't receive the updates today, hang in there, relax. It might take a few weeks, but they are coming. More Xbox Insiders will receive the update in the coming weeks and will steadily release more Creators Update features for Xbox One and Windows 10 PCs leading into the spring. Scott, thanks for your time today. It's been great, thanks. I'm Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. Thanks for watching.